What's going on guys? Today we're doing a guitar lesson for Foo Fighters. Uh, Watershed's the name of the song. Uh, it's off the first record. Very cool track. So let's jump into the, uh, the we'll play the song and uh, we'll do a breakdown, but first let's do the tuning. So this tuning is just standard tuning. So starting with your low E string. Okay, next string down is A. Okay, next string is D. String below is uh, G. Okay, B. And the last string is E. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to jump right into the uh, guitar uh, play through and uh, we'll do the breakdown after that. Here we go. Okay, it's nothing too tough. Uh, the, I think the toughest part is maybe the breakdown of the song, but everything else is uh, pretty straightforward. So, the first chord uh, you're going to start on just a power chord, which is called a uh, it's a G sharp or a or a uh, it's called a G sharp. You can call it an A flat if you like. Uh, G sharp um, uh, five chord, which is just a power chord. <laughs> Fourth fret on the low E string, sixth fret on the A, and six on the D string. Slide that over two frets. That's going to be to the A, sh uh, a sharp. And uh, the next chord is you're going to do that twice. Play a um, it's a D, it's actually a D sharp chord, but then you have a uh, A sharp in the bass, which is called a uh, it's an invert a first inversion chord. So you're gonna play that. Okay, after you play that chord. You're gonna um, play a uh, play a B five chord and slide back to an A sharp. That's on the low E string seven, then uh, seven and then nine on the A string and nine on the D string. And just uh, as soon as you hit that, you're gonna slide back uh, a half a uh, half step, which is just one fret. Just that entire position slides back a half a half step. So what I'm doing, I'm going to try to explain what I'm doing with my right hand. Uh, it's always tough to break the rhythm down because <clears throat> I always inadvertently change the rhythm, but let's try to break that down. The, uh, <clears throat> the rhythm for my right hand, I hit that, uh, I hit that G sharp with a down strum pick pattern. Just one down strum. Immediately slide over to the A sharp. And then I, I, uh, the scrum pattern is a down, up, down, up for that A sharp. As soon as you do the slide, down, up, down, up. So down. See what I did there? Down, up, down, up. You do 
that twice. But on the second one, it's only half of that down, up, down, up. So it's just down, up. And then you're going to um, play the D sharp, which is just a down strum pattern. And then you play another down strum pattern on the B, sliding back to the A sharp. That's it. <clears throat> so the next, uh, the next progression. The next progression is um, going to be an F sharp uh, 5 chord, which is a power chord. To D sharp, that, uh, that inverted chord. Then you're going to slide back from the B to an A sharp twice. Then you go to an F5, which is first fret on the E string, third fret on the A, and third fret on the D string. Stay on that for a little bit. And then you're going to play the uh, G sharp again. Um, that G sharp, you're going to play it a couple times, and then you're going to play the C sharp uh, power chord inverted. So you're going to have a uh, G sharp in the bass. So that's the fourth fret on the E string, fourth fret on the A, and sixth fret on the D string. So you can play that once, go back to the G sharp, and then uh, like this is kind of like in the middle, like on uh, on an upbeat, you're going to play an A chord. And then the riff essentially starts over again. for that, uh, that second part. I'm basically playing, uh, I'm going to play a down strum pattern for the F, the initial. Then I'm going to uh, mute, basically just mute the uh, all of the strings with my left hand and play a, uh, with my right hand an up, an up strum pattern. And then play another down strum for the F. So together that's going to sound like this. Uh, so you're still playing the F sharp. I'm going to play the up strum pattern with my right hand. Up, down, up. So together, slowly. Uh, the, the D, now you're going to go to the D sharp chord. It's the same exact pattern with my right hand. So you're going to together, to play it together. And then you're going to go to the D, uh, the B, sliding back to the A sharp. It's pretty simple. My right hand, one down strum pattern to, to, uh, before the slide. And an up, an up strum pattern. When you land on the, after you land on that A sharp, you're going to do an up strum pattern just once. So do that twice. Do that entire uh, motion twice, and then you're gonna play the down strum pattern with your right hand for the F chord. Uh, you just stay on that for a little bit, and then you're gonna play the uh, G sharp, uh, G sharp to C sharp. I think that's a down. down, down. I play an upstroke pattern only because it's on the upbeat. You can play down if you'd like, but I, I play it up. Okay, so that's that's the uh, main the main bulk of the song. 
the next guitar part is comes in a little later in the song. It's going to be this one right here. Okay, so let's start. Uh, the initial riff is, let's see, it's a C-sharp uh, inverted chord. We've already played that once. Next chord is a, uh, an, an E chord. You just move that chord here, you move it up three frets. So you go one, two, three. <laughs> okay, next chord is, um, it's going to be an A sharp. Slide, you play the A sharp for a little bit and then you slide from the G sharp back to the A sharp. Okay? And the next time around, you're going to play the same thing, C sharp to an E, but then you're going to go, you're going to play a G sharp on the top string, which is four, six, and six. And then slide from the G from a G, which is three five five, back to that four six six. And then the third time is just the way the first time is. And then now you're gonna play the uh, the next part, which is a C sharp to a G sharp to an F sharp. And the, the thing about that F sharp is on the record, it's only one guitar track playing it. The other, the other guitar track doesn't play that F sharp. And then they both come in together for the breakdown. So let's talk about the, uh, the breakdown riff. It's a little tricky. I'm going to try to play it um, together with the riff before and then maybe slow it down. So here we go. slower. I'll try to play it even a little slower one more time. So what I'm playing here is an F sharp uh, power chord. Play that with the down strum pattern in your right hand. Matter of fact, you can do all down strum if you want. You can do down up. I'm not really sure what he plays in the record. <clears throat> so you, I would just uh, say for now, just start with down pick pattern. So you're going to play that F sharp. You're going to play an F, which is just uh, this, this chord moved back a half a step. Take your index finger off of the E string, and now you're just playing an open E with the, with the uh, 3 and 3 underneath, and on the A and D string. So, open, first fret, open fret. So let's, uh, let's play that how we have it so far. one more time and stay on it for a while. You should play it twice. Then open. Close. You can play the F again 
move over to an F sharp and then play a, uh, a B inverted chord, which is two on the low E, uh, two on the A string, and uh, four on the D string. So, F sharp, F, F, Okay, so that's basically the, the riff there. If you guys have any questions with that, please email me or uh, send it to my YouTube channel and I'll try to um, further explain that. It's a little bit of a tricky riff to play, especially when you play it fast. Um, so the next part of that riff... Alright, so let's play that slower. very similar to the first part, but I'm really just staying on that F and uh, that open chord, that E, and I just kind of stay there for a while, and then I move to the uh, the A string, uh, not the A string, but the, uh, the A note on the fifth fret of the E string. And then it starts over, the main riff starts all over again. So uh, let, let me play it slower again. So what I'm doing is I'm playing that F sharp. To an F, open E, 